Hello everybody, welcome to part 5 of video series about GD extension. In this video, we are going to see how we can define method in GD extension and how we can bind them to use them in GD script. But before that, let me tell you that you can write your entire game code inside GD extension. And in that case, of course, you don't need uh, to bind anything and of course you don't need the GD script. For example, let us see how we can define ready function inside GD extension. In fact, it is really easy. You should define a method with the exact same name which you wrote in GD script. Uh, also, please note, you can define other methods like process, physics process, inter tree and exit tree and etc. Okay, so I define ready method here and now let's define its body. So I want to print a hello world inside the ready method. And for that, we need uh, to use a class which is called the utility functions. Inside utility function is defined many methods which you can access globally inside GT script. For example, many of the math functions like cosine, sine, clamp, lerp, and also print method, which we are going to use in this case. And all of these methods are static, so to access them, you should write utility functions, column, column, and then the name of the methods. So here I want to print the string hello world from GD extension. So now let's compile our program and let's see if is it working. Okay, as you can see, as soon as I run my game, this string is going to print in my console. But what happens if I define ready function in GD script? Let's try. So we are going to create a GD script and here we define a ready function which is going to print hello world from GD script. And now let's run and see what will happen. As you can see, the function which we will define in GD extension not executing anymore. And basically the ready function in GD script override that function. If you want to write your entire game in C++, then this is not a problem. But sometimes you want to write some part of your code which need more processing power in C++ and the rest of your code inside GD script. In this case, you will need to bind some method from your C++ code to be able to execute them inside GD script. Well, first let us remove ready method in GD extension and also remove bind method empty body. Then I will define a new method called a start test. And then I will write these methods body in CPP file. Okay, well done. I want to start this print hello world from GD extension to the console. Now, this is the important part. We want to be able to call this method from GD script. And for that, we need to bind this method. So inside bind method, call a static function from class TV, which is called bind method. Bind method take two argument. The first argument is a C++ struct, which contain information about your method. For creating that struct, we will use a global function, which is called D method. D method as a first argument, take a string name of your method. And for other argument, take the input for your method if you have one. In this case, we don't have any input for start test method, so we need to write only the method name. And as for the second argument for bind method, we should pass the method address. Well done. Let's see the result inside Godot. So this time inside GD script for our test node in ready function, call the method which we bind it. And as you can see, it is giving us error, but don't worry, everything is okay. And if you run Godot, you can see it's printing the hello world from GD extension. This is because Godot editor did not recognize yet binded method. Also, if you look at the documentation of your class, you can see nothing. To solve this, you can just restart your Godot session. And as you can see, this time the editor recognized my method. I hope this video was useful for you and if you have any suggestion let me know. Have a good time until the next video, bye.